Did you just get an Arduino Q or maybe you're trying to update the image on your Arduino Q and you're trying to understand this Arduino flasher tool? Well, you are in the right place. This video is going to walk you step by step on how to use the Arduino flasher tool to flash a new image of Debian Linux on your Arduino Q board. My name is Mike Chach. I'm the owner of Programming Electronics Academy, where we've been helping people for over a decade learn how to build stuff with Arduino. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty excited about the Arduino Q, getting to work with it. And I'm actually putting together a training that is going to show you all the ins and outs of using the Arduino Q. If you want to get on the notification list for that, just go to the description or scan this QR code right here, and you can get signed up for the notification for when that training gets released. Let's jump into this. Okay, so the first thing we need to do to use this Arduino Flasher tool is to actually download it. Like, I don't know exactly where you are in the process. Maybe you're at this screen right here and I would say don't skip just go ahead and get the flasher tool if you're already past this screen maybe you've already downloaded the flasher tool and you're trying to figure out how to make it work don't worry we're going to address that here in just a moment so I'm just going to go ahead and click get the flasher tool and all it's going to do is take me to a web page on the Arduino website and it's got a little space right here it says hey here's the Arduino flasher CLI CLI stands for command line interface and that's just a text way to communicate with your computer. You probably already know that. But like most, you know, most people, you get your computer and you've got like windows here, windows there, and you click on buttons and all that type of stuff. That is the GUI or GUI, the graphical user interface. Well, computers also have a command line interface where it's just like a text box, you know. Anyway, Okay, so here we are. We're going to go ahead and download this tool for the command line interface. And what you need to do is select which operating system that you've got to you know to download this file for so I am working on a Mac and it's like I guess an old Mac and the old Macs just use the AMD so the Mac AMD download so if you have an older Mac without the Apple silicon this is what you download if you have a newer Mac you download this one so I'm just right now I'm on a Mac again I'm going to demo this on a PC but here we go so I'm just going to click this and click download now what I'm going to do and this might seem a little weird but we're really we're really only going to use this. We're going to just install this, right? And what's important is you need to be able to find where to install this tool from. And I think it's easiest if you just save this file to your Arduino sketchbook folder. All right. So I am going to go to my documents. I'm going to go to my Arduino folder, and then I'm just going to go ahead and save this tool. Okay, so we've downloaded the executable file. Like this is the actual command line tool, it's a program. And now what we need to do is run that program from a command line. So if, again, if you're on a Mac, just go up to this little magnifying glass up here and search for terminal. All right, and terminal should come up and go ahead and click open. And it's gonna open something like this where there's just text, right? So what we're doing here in the command line can also be done like in the graphical user interface, like we're just navigating folders, right? So if I wanted to go to the Arduino folder, um, I would just click on documents and then I'd find this Arduino folder. Well, if I wanna move to a different directory, you know, a different folder, then I just type in CD, that stands for change directory, and I'm gonna type the name of the directory. So I wanna to go to documents. So I'm gonna type a D O C U, and then if you click tab, it'll auto complete. Um, now, if, if you just type DO and then you click tab, see how it gives me documents and downloads? Well, it's just giving you some options. It's saying like, you gotta specify a little further. Or, you know, you could type it all out or whatever. But so now I just typed that. Now I press enter. Now I'm in the documents folder. So if I type LS, which is list, it's going to show me all the folders in here. So what we just did here is the same as just double clicking documents. So we see all this stuff right here and I can see all the stuff right here. Like here's Adobe, there's Adobe, here's Arduino, here's Arduino. Okay. Hopefully we're on the same page here. So now I'm in my documents folder and I want to navigate to the Arduino folder. So now I'm going to CD change directory and I'm going to type Arduino. All right. I'll do a little tab at the end. Why not? Um, you don't actually have to press that forward slash and then I'm going to press enter. Okay. So now you can see it says, Hey, you're in the Arduino folder. That's the same thing as double click on Arduino. So here we are. Now what I'm going to do is type in LS. All right. And these are all the folders in my Arduino folder, right? So I got, you know, like just tons of different programs. All right. So now I need to get into the folder where we downloaded that program. 
And so it was this Arduino flasher CLI yada yada thing, right? So I'm just going to copy that. And then what I'm going to do is I need to change directory. So CD, and then I'm going to paste, okay, this, the name of that directory, and I'm going to press enter. So now I'm in that folder, all right? And now I want to see, hey, let me just see what's in the folder. That's literally the same thing as doing this, right? I'm just double clicking on this folder and I want to see what's in here. So now I'm just going to type in LS press enter and it says okay there's a license and then there's the Arduino flash or CLI so now we have navigated to the folder where this program is and now that we're in the folder where the program is we can run a command and that command is going to get fed into this program and it's going to do the stuff we need it to do now before we start running the program though we actually have to prep the Arduino queue there's a little piece of hardware we have to adjust so let's talk about that right now okay so here's my Arduino queue board it's still running the initial program that it came loaded on and the first thing you need to do here is unplug the Arduino queue so I've unplugged it no power is going to this thing and what we have to do is run a jumper between two pins on uh, some headers on here so you can see these headers right here and it's the the two on the right if the you know if you think about the port being on the left it's these two on the right and so um, I happen to have a handy little uh, jumper clip I guess I'll call it a jumper clip and it's spaced correctly for these right so all I have to do is take this little jumper clip and do this and now I've you know I've connected these jumpers and it's ready to plug back in right if you don't have one of these I almost wish Arduino would have uh, included this with the Arduino queue but they didn't um, if you don't have one of those then what you can use is just a female to female jumper wire so you know, just like this. And if you don't have one of these, maybe you only have uh, male female ones, like one end is like this and the other end's like that. You can use a breadboard, you know what I mean? And kind of connect it through a breadboard. However you end up doing it, you just need to electrically connect those two pins and you'll be set. Once you've got that connected, you can go ahead and plug your Arduino queue back in. And once you've done this, now we can go ahead and actually use this Arduino flasher tool to flash a new image. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now I gotta come back to that Arduino flasher tool and I actually closed my terminal on accident. So I'm gonna go ahead and open terminal, or it's already in there. I'll bring the window over here. Okay, so here's the terminal and I'm just gonna do this real quick. I'm gonna to navigate to that folder, so. All right, so now I'm in this folder and I'm just gonna do LS just to make sure. Yep, okay, so here's this Arduino flasher tool. So now I'm in this tool, I'm gonna to go to the help page for this and I'm gonna grab the code to run, which is, it's actually the same in all of them, I think, just this right here. So dot forward slash Arduino dash flasher dash CLI. So I'm gonna paste that in here, right like this, and I'm gonna press enter. And it gives me a little bit of text here. It says, hey, this is, you know, a command line interface to update and flash a Debian image. That's what we want to do. And then it says, hey, how do you use it? Well, first you got to type the name of the program, Arduino Flasher CLI. Then here's the commands that you would add after it. So it says, like, here's the name, and then you got to type a command. Okay. And then it talks about some flags down here. All right. So first thing we need to do is type the name of this. And so we're just gonna take this right here with that dot forward slash, I'm gonna paste that. So we've got the name written and now we wanna flash an image, right? So I'm just gonna copy flash. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in latest. All right, this should flash the latest image that's available, um, the latest Debian image that is available for Linux that Arduino is pointing to. Now you might be like, well, where did you get latest? I don't see latest down here. Well, if you go to their helper page and you scroll down, it they tell you um, to use that flag right here latest okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and press enter and now it says hey checking for Debian image releases Debian image version gives me a version number and do you want to download it well yeah I do all right so now it's gonna go through this download process and first it's gonna download the image and then it's gonna ask you, you, you wanna upload it and some stuff. So we'll talk about these prompts, but I'll kind of speed this up for you. All right, so now it says, hey, the download of the Debian image is complete. Now it's unzipping it. And at this point you might be like, oh man, you know, what's going on? You're kind of doing the thing a little bit, but just give it a little bit of time. It's gotta go through a process. It will prompt you when it's ready to do the next thing. 
So now it gives me this warning. It says, hey, flashing a new Linux image on this board will erase any existing data you have on it. Do you want to proceed with the flash? And then it tells you the folder where it's going to flash this. And the answer is yes, I want to do this. But I got to realize, I mean, this is a brand new board to me, so I don't have anything on it. But if I had saved files on here, you know, because you can use it as a little computer, right? So if you had stuff saved on there, well, it's going to be gone. All right, so I'm just going to type in yes. And now it's actually going through the flashing process. And, you know, this can take a minute. Now, if you look at the board, it's really not doing anything different. It's still doing that, you know, infinity symbol, or maybe it's doing a heart for you, whatever. So it might not feel like a lot's happening, but deep inside that chip, you know, little mice are moving around bits and stuff, so. If it's ever just sitting there and you're like, is it doing anything? Chances are it probably is. Just takes a couple minutes. Like, it could take up to 15 minutes, I think. All right, but hey, mine is now done. So supposedly this thing has been flashed. Now, one thing I didn't mention, which I hope is painfully obvious, is that while this download is happening and it's installing this new Debian image, you're not supposed to unplug the board from the USB cable. Like if you were thinking, hey, you know, this would be a great idea, well, then, okay, you're wrong. So now what we need to do is a power cycle on this board. So you need to unplug the Arduino Q, and importantly, you need to take off that jumper that you had on before. So you unplug it, take off the jumper, plug it back in, and now you can go and open the Arduino App Lab again. And at this point, you'll just continue to walk through the setup. Now, don't be surprised if at some point through the setup it says, hey, you need to update some software. At that point, they're not going to be talking about the Debian image. They're going to be talking about some other software that's running on that Arduino keyboard, or they might be talking about updating the App Lab app itself. So you've achieved one of the steps to getting this Arduino Q up and running. And now you're ready to go. And if you are excited about using how to learn this Arduino Q, I am putting together a training specifically for how to use this. So just go to the link in the description. You can sign up to get notified when that's going to be available. And or you can use this QR code right here. Now we're going to walk through doing this on the PC. It's basically the exact same, but I just want to walk through the steps so everything, you know, you can follow along exactly. All right, so let's go. So now what we need to do is download this Arduino Flasher CLI tool. Now, if you are in the App Lab and you just click Get the Flasher tool, it's going to take you to the page we're about to go to, but I just want to show you how to get there if uh, you know if that's not the case. All right, so I'm at arduino.cc, then just go over to Products and go down to see where it says Software. You can actually click any of these. I'm just going to quick uh, click the Arduino App Lab and it takes you to the software download page, all right? So this is like where you can download all the different parts, pieces of software that Arduino maintains. All right, so I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna find a place where it says Arduino Flasher CLI. This is what we're looking for. We are not looking for the Arduino CLI. So the Arduino command line interface is a completely different tool than this very lightweight Arduino Flasher command line interface tool. So this is what we want, just click on this. It's going to give you some download options. There's only one option for Windows. That's what I'm on. I'm going to go ahead and click download. It's going to ask me where to save it. I'm actually going to save it in my Arduino folder. So, you know, documents, Arduino in that folder. It's just going to be a zip file. So I'll save it there. Once it's saved, I'm going to go ahead and open up that file. And I want to extract everything. It's a zip file. So I'm just right clicking and I'm going to say extract all. And it's going to ask me where to extract it. If I just click extract, it'll put it right in that same folder. That's what I want to do. So here we are. We're in, um, you know, my Arduino folder. And then this, this is this Arduino Flasher CLI 0.2.3. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to execute this on a command line with a command line tool. So using a, what we call a shell. All right. So I'm going to use PowerShell. Should be installed on your PC. And so I'm just, I go down to the start menu. And, and I'm going to search for PowerShell. All right, so here's PowerShell. I'll click that, and it's going to open up this window right here. Now what I need to do is navigate to that folder. So again, so right now we're in a folder. I'm in my user folder. So here's user, Micah. Um, I'm in this folder. 
So if I do an LS, which is list, it's going to show me all the documents in here. And I know I need to go to the, you know, the documents folder. So now I'm going to do CD that stands for change directory. And I'm going to just type DOC and then press tab. And that auto completes for me documents. And so what's going to happen is I am now going to be in the documents folder. And now if I do an LS, I can see all the, um, I can see all of the stuff in my documents folder. I want to go into the Arduino folder. So I'm going to do CD. So that's change directory. And I'm going to go into Arduino. Okay, so now I'm in the Arduino folder. I'm going to do an LS again, just so I can see what's in here. And this is the folder. This is the directory I wanted to go to. All right, so I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to do CD and I'm going to paste that. Now I've got CD and this is the folder I want to go into. I hit enter. So now I'm finally in that folder. I'm going to hit LS just to double check. And we can see here's that .exe tool. So now what we need to do is um, we're going to just check that it got you know installed right or whatever. So I'm going to do dot forward slash and then I'm going to paste in Arduino Flash or CLI, which is just the name of the app. And I'm going to press enter. OK, so now what that does is it brings up like the usage thing. All right. Hey, so this is a tool. It's a CL uh, command line interface tool to update and flash a Debian image. And then it tells me how to use it. So how's, how do you use it? Well, you type in the name Arduino flash or CLI, and then you type in a command. And then uh, as you'll see, we have to cut type in a flag. Now, before we actually flash it, remember you need to unplug your Arduino queue and put that jumper on. So I'm going to do that right now. So now what I'll do is just go ahead and flash the image. So to do that, I'm going to need the last command. And if you press up arrow, it'll actually populate your previous commands. So I just press the up arrow. So that's uh, what I want to run. And then I'm going to write flash and I'll write latest. And latest is a flag that is going to provide you with the most recent Debian image that uh, they are pointing to. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and press enter. Now, as soon as you say yes, you're going to get a little window that pops up and saying, hey, are you sure you want to you know, use this Arduino CLI? And the answer is yes. I hope so. And then once you've done that, it's going to ask you to install some in device drivers. You'll just say install. And now we're going to go ahead and continue with this download. Do you want to download it? Yes, I do. I just type in yes and I press enter. And now it's going to download this image. And this could take a while. Uh, I'll go ahead and fast forward it. So just give it some time. And it might appear like it stalls out, but it's just going to come to a, it's going to come to kind of a sitting point, give it some time, and then it'll give you another prompt to continue. All right. So looks like everything downloaded, but now it's asking us, Hey, flashing a new image on this board is going to erase any existing data you have on it. Are you sure you want to proceed? And the answer for us is yes. I mean, that's the whole idea. We're trying to flash a new image. This is a brand new board for me. I already, I have nothing on it to begin with. So this isn't a concern, but maybe you are updating the, you know, the Linux image on this then, uh, and you'd been using it for a while. Any files that you would have saved on this are going to be, you know, obliterated. So, um, just keep that in mind. I'm going to say yes. All right, so it looks like the reflash was successful. Now, if I want to use this board right now with uh, App Lab, which I do with the Arduino App Lab, what you need to do is a reset of the board, and you need to make sure you take off that jumper wire. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug the board. I'm going to take off my jumper wire, plug the board back in. Now I can close PowerShell. We won't need that CLI flasher anymore. And now I'll just go ahead and open App Lab. And sometimes it might take a second to identify the board, but there we go. So I have downloaded this new uh, image. Now, don't be surprised if maybe you get a pop up again saying, hey, your software is out of date. That might be referring to like the actual App Lab software itself. Like for a second, I thought I was going in some loop where it's like, no, I just updated this. Why are you asking me to do it again? But I realized it was a different, different software. So now, hey, we're good to go. Now I'm putting together a training program specifically for this Arduino Q. If you want to get notified when that's going to be available, just go to the link in the description or you can go to the scan this QR code right here and uh, you can get on the wait list. Now the next video you should watch is this one right up here. It's going to give you more info about the Arduino Q, you know, kind of like the launch and some information about the Arduino Q and the app lab and the Arduino app lab. So this is the video you should check out.